Hello everyone, Ryan here. So, recently saw a movie called uh, The Babysitter. It is, of course, a Netflix original movie. And I actually liked it. I enjoyed it. Um, I guess it's classified as a comedy slash horror kind of movie. Uh, pretty much just about this kid named Cole. He's... I want to say about 13, 14 years old, and he's pretty much the only kid that he knows uh, his age who still has a babysitter. But he doesn't really complain that much about it because his babysitter also happens to be a pretty good-looking girl. Uh, I mean, she's pretty attractive, and that's a big plus for any teenage boy. So, um, of course, uh, the movie pretty much, in the beginning, it sets up the story. It lets you know a little bit about Cole. Uh, of course, he's kind of, I guess you could say, a typical, somewhat nerdy kid. He gets picked on and bullied by other kids, one kid in particular, but pretty much, I guess you could say, his entire school considers him to be somewhat of a nerd. Uh, and then uh, his babysitter, her name is uh, B, and pretty much, I guess you could say, she's like his best friend uh, because she's always there. She's always there for him. She's always, uh, I guess, talking to him, <clears throat> giving him advice about growing up, different aspects of growing up, and uh, and she's really good at it. And of course, she helps boost his confidence during certain moments, and which is pretty cool. Um, I gotta say, but then I guess at the same time, it's supposed to make you suspicious. I guess, or at least for me, it did because you know, kind of makes you wonder. Well, you know, what the hell kind of babysitter is she? Uh, <laughs> I mean, yeah, it's cool that she helps him and all that, but right away you can tell, okay, this is not realistic. Uh, obviously, she's got some other kind of agenda going on. And then it turns out that she does, because then one night uh, after Cole's parents, they go off on some like mini vacation, I guess. Uh, Cole decides to stay up past his regular bedtime. To find out exactly what it is his babysitter B, find out what it is she does. He was pretty much convinced that he figured like maybe she, while he's asleep, she invites her boyfriend over, and you know they make out and uh, <clears throat> even do a bunch of other stuff. And uh, but he's surprised to discover that uh, she's actually part of some kind of <clears throat> satanic cult and where they actually perform human sacrifices and uh, cast, I don't know, I guess some kind of spells or something. Uh, it's never really fully explained as, as to exactly what they do with, you know, after making their human sacrifice. And, um, but it's definitely an interesting story. Uh, obviously, wildly unrealistic, but uh, funny. There's a lot of funny moments in it. Um, there's also a lot of, I guess you'd say, well, at least several adult kind of moments. I wouldn't say this is necessarily a movie for kids, even though it's class classified as a comedy uh, and horror. Uh, it's not definitely not, especially not for younger kids, but... I mean, because of one scene in particular, I don't want to go into the into the details of it, but you know, I'm sure if you if you look up this movie, and you'll be able to find out right away. Uh, of course, uh, most of the actors in this are relatively unknown, I guess, with the exception of maybe one or two that I recognized. Uh, I know that uh, there's that one actress by the name of Bella Thorne. She's in it. She plays some kind of cheerleader and I guess she's also a part of this uh, satanic cult and uh, 
she comes off as like, I guess she's supposed to be like a blonde, dumb blonde cheerleader or something like that. Uh, at least for for me, that's how she came off in this in this movie. Uh, as far as the acting is concerned, I mean, it's definitely. I mean, I would say the the kid, wh- whoever, whatever his name is, uh, <laughs> I gotta look that up later. But uh, the kid who plays Cole in this, he does a pretty good job. I would say uh, everyone else also is all right, decent. Uh, I guess you could say pretty believable for the most part. I mean, as far as acting, the performances go. Uh, the ending uh, is also pretty good. Uh, I like that there's like a big action sequence towards the end. And yeah, it's not really, not necessarily uh, a very happy kind of ending, but I guess a con- some kind of contented ending, or <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I don't want to give away too much of it. Uh, I do recommend watching it, especially if you're a fan of the horror genre, but also you know you like something that'll make you laugh a little bit. I mean, yeah, it's it's a decent movie. It's decent. It's <laughs> uh, as far as the rating goes, I'm going to give it eight out of ten. Yeah, 8 out of 10. And that pretty much does it for my review of The Babysitter, Netflix original movie. Thanks for watching this review. As always, till next time, don't forget to keep it real, keep on rocking, and peace.